When you're trying to remove a tub from a washing machine, online the instructions just say remove the agitator and remove this spanner nut and just pull the tub straight up. And if you have an old washing machine, <laughs> that's not going to be the case. It's going to be so hard to get the tub out. And the problem is all the gunk and the crust and the rust that's stuck on that drive block to the washing tub. So once you do get the spanner nut off with the special tool, flip the tool upside down and put it down over the circle, the cylinder, put the nut back on and bring that tool up to the top um, into the slots and then take anything you have that's really stiff and strong. I took this uh, thing from my, from my um, hitch on my car and put two C-clamps and pull up on that tool and that will pull up and break that tub free. Um, off of that spindle and, and bring that drive block up and that the drive block might actually come up with with the washing tub and I'll show you how to get that out later so look how disgusting and crusty this um, washing this tub is or the um, the part that goes around the, spin, the spinning tub um, I sprayed in some cleaner to or household cleaner and just uh, used a scraper and got all this off and this was causing our kind of our upstairs to smell moldy and and gross when we walked uh, every time we walked by the washing machine so this is how the tub should look um, just perfectly clean and I won't get any re residual smell and see how um, clean that shaft is now here's here's the drive block that's stuck in the um, the spinning tub and a little bit of force you can pop it right out of there and see all that gunk and rust that was holding that in that's why the tub wouldn't remove easily so I ordered a new one of these but didn't come in time so I needed to do some washing so I just put the old part back on there after I cleaned it up it has some tabs to line up and then lower the, the tub back in and clean out the inside of that um, cylinder in that tub as well. I just used a screwdriver to kind of scrape that rust and gunk out of there. And uh, here you can see it fitting on top of the drive block and the thread sticking up to be ready to uh, put that spanner nut back on. I found uh, if you're going to replace the drive block, Amazon's the cheapest. It's like five or six bucks. Um, the appliance uh, stores want to charge like 20 bucks for the same part. It's just a little cast aluminum. So take this banner uh, wrench tool and give it a few whacks to tighten it down there. And there's a, a plastic piece that went on top of there and then a, a little spring collar that just kind of slides down. Not not too many pieces. And then the agitator goes back on, slides onto the splines, and it has uh, just one nut in the end. They say it's supposed to be 7 16 size, but I used a slightly smaller uh, millimeter socket. I don't know how many millimeters it was. Fit better though. And then uh, the top of the, the tub just snaps back down into place and you're good to go with the clean washing machine.